everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it is the morning of day 46 and we've got a fair bit of work we need to do today. So let's have a look outside. Sun has just kind of come up. What I want to do first off is I want to go over to the lead mine and I want to get a bunch of lead before we do anything. So let's just go ahead. I got everything we need to start working on stuff down here. Let's throw the mini bike down on this side. Why is the car parked this way now? Put the mini bike here. It's not where I parked it. Did there was no zombies in here last night. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, we should probably go check those as well. We'll do that on the way back. They should be done. We've been gone for a while, so. But let's get over to that lead mine first, because we need we need a bunch of lead. Alright, here we go. Now I was gonna bring a junk turret and I forgot. Just so that we have something to cover our asses up here in case a screamer or something comes along. I mean I don't think they will because we're not gonna be here for very long, but it's something I need to think about for the future for sure, a way to defend this place. But we're just gonna get down in here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this. Another couple thousand I think will be fine. Um, and then we're out of here. Yeah, we haven't even started this a zombie already. That's a biker. What's up, buddy? Free hugs. And somebody else. How much do we have here? 2280 something. That's what we got. That's what we walked out of here with last time. Hey, buddy. Bet you wish you weren't. Bet you wish you weren't so noisy now. No. Nosy. You know what I'm saying. One for good measure. Over 4,000. Perfect. Alright, that's a good start. Get some more bullet tips going. We've got tons of, uh... We've got tons of casings on the craft, so that's good. Alright, trees are back up. I might as well grab these two while we're out here. All right, looks like these have all popped. That's awful. Okay, so it looks like they did a bit of work on this side of the building during the horde. Not much, but a little bit. They broke a few of these spikes out. Broke a few of these out. Let's get this done, replaced with rebar over here. Because I'm wondering if we go one more level. Thinking we might do that. Have it three three thick. The guards will have a harder time seeing down here, but I don't really care about that. Uh, I see damage here somewhere. The door. Yeah, I knew that. That's from the car. Alright, well, a little bit. Alright, let's get these updated. Nice. Alright, so, uh, the work on the base. Alrighty, let's get rid of the goop first. Okay, let's take these blocks out. Wonder where that wood's from. Okay. So that's not too bad. Everything here is intact. Everything here is intact. A little bit of goop up on the top. Gonna take oh well, let's leave that there for now. We've got a better turret. We picked up a better turret when we were out the past few days, so get rid of that and that. Okay, not so bad. Let's get this replaced though. So they almost destroyed this one. It won't fall though. Like with one of these pillars down, these, these are far enough apart that it won't fall. They have to take two down, I think. Maybe more than two to, to take the whole thing down. Alright, I'm going to go around and just do a quick repair on everything here. Get it all back up to where it was. Then we'll look at doing, um, replacing the ground. And we'll go from there. Okay, so this hatch didn't even get through the first set of, uh, defense on it, which is nice. Walls barely took any damage here. 
So, I think the base is looking pretty strong, actually, at this point. Don't think we need to make any major adjustments before the next horde. Um, the stairs down here did really well. There was a little bit of damage along there, and then nothing along here, which is nice. So I think it's, it might be the turret that's hitting those, or it may have been the Molotovs or the grenades we tossed down there, or whatever. But uh, yeah, like, like no damage at all. Like, so we've done pretty well here, a little bit there. Tiny bit on here, which I think is a from cop, cop spit of, or the spider zombies jumping up. And a little bit up here from birds. But we'll have that turret fixed. I'm gonna work on the electrics very soon. Okay, so that's this part all fixed. It's all repaired, ready to go. So let's have a look outside. So we know they did a bit of work here. We need cobblestone. Right, we didn't have enough to upgrade everything the last time. So let's throw these in here. And let's go get some cobblestone. Okay, we're starting to run low on cobble. That's fine though. We've got, oop, not there. Ooh, casing's done are in here. And we got some more cement here. We got some more cement here. We got some more cement here. Let's get some clay. Wait, do we have clay on this? Yeah, we do. Uh, let's get... Uh, let's get 500 armor piercing rounds in there. And then... Fifteen hundred. And fifteen hundred for now. Save a little bit of the lead in case we need it later. So that can go in there. Let's just toss these guys in here for now. I have to sort this out. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, at least we can get some of this going. Yeah, I know I said I was going to sort this out, but I haven't yet. It's all going to take time. That in there. Okay, bring these guys back down. Let's get back downstairs. Oh wait, we were up here for what? Cobble. And we got it. Okay, good. So they did go for the weak points. All the, uh, all the concrete blocks appear not to be damaged. Well, except for that one. And for the most part, it's just all the cobblestone blocks that were hit. Let's put two more of these in here. Okay, that part's done. Alright, looking pretty good. We had a block taken out over here. Not much. Put that in there, that guy there. Like all the way along, if this is all flat. Yeah, see, they're not really doing... Why are you down here? What happened to you? Something happened to you. You got all your health. I don't know how that worked. A little bit of damage out here. Let's just update these guys. Let's get these updated. I think this part worked really well here. It's hard to know for sure, you know. Maybe we make this all... How much concrete do we have? Fair bit still. Let's take this out. Then let's just go ahead and do this at this part of the wall. Because our base is right there. And if they don't think that they can get in this way, then I think they'll probably just go right for the door. Yeah. Got somebody coming. Oh, it's a biker. Where were you, buddy? I didn't see you. I did not see you over there. Yeah, they didn't do any, like... 
You know what I mean? Since we've been letting them in, they don't really touch out here. I mean, there's a few off instances, obviously, where there's someone gets gets it in their mind that they need to go in a certain way, but for the most part, this has been, like, working really well. Now, I think the behemoths are three blocks tall or two blocks tall, so they should have no problem getting through here, but I know there's mobs later on, like the incubus and stuff, that might be taller, at which point we'll need to adjust this, I think. So let's start getting this into place and get this ground replaced over here. All right, now I'm not going to replace the blocks under here, but what I am going to do is the... Did I just hear somebody out there? No. Uh, all the way along, I'm just going to make sure that these are updated uh, and not damaged. At some point, they may get damaged. Uh, I should probably put it in so there's at least some support. So maybe we knock out one of these guys. And just put like a support block in, just in case. And I'll do the same thing on the corner. Maybe every so often I'll put a support block in. Okay, that's that part done. Now, I think we should probably focus on over here, though. This should be our focus. So, let's knock out this stuff here. Uh, let's go down right here first, and then we'll make our way across. Alright, so that's a bit of that done. Did we take any damage down below here? I don't think we did. Now nah, we're good. But I'm going to update these guys under here. Just so that that's going to be supported just in case. Uh, this block is a corner block. We should probably knock that one out. I mean, technically it should probably do the whole thing that way, but just so we have a little bit of support. Alright, let's get this put in. Okay, that's not bad. That's done. we got to do all this over here still, too. So let's actually harvest the crops, go inside, get something to drink. So I discovered something about how these crops grow. I was able to see a video done by another YouTuber and the mod developer. I have an idea of how the crops work with the water and why that these guys are growing so slow. And that is apparently... Did we lose? We lost the things that were in there. So, um, the crops should have one source of water per block. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's kind of how it should be. Because what happens is the crop does a check in a 3x3 three three around it for water. And when it has a chance to grow, it drains the source of water to grow itself. So if there's only a limited amount of source of water, like one water block in the center of all this, they're all going to grow real slow because as soon as one grows, it takes the water and then nothing else can grab water. So the more water you have, the better. So this isn't too bad. I mean, it's okay, but it's not ideal. So we're going to be changing this at some point um, to get better growth. We might move it over there too. I don't know yet. I know we were planning on making this the garage, but I think if we move underground, we don't need to make that the garage. Man, we're going to need to make food too. That could be like a whole episode on its own, try, trying to figure out all the best recipes to make. We need really need Master Farmer to, do, to have the best recipes, but we'll do what we can. Oh, I know what I was going to do. We're safe and sound at home, so let's grab this guy. Finally. People are probably saying that. Finally! And let's modify... Wait, that's the Iron Breaker, right? We don't want the Iron Breaker. That's fine. Because this is probably going to be a lot a lot easier on my stamina. It's going to call Screamers, but whatever. Got to keep my ears open because it's going to call a Screamer in. Well, that's repairing. Let's just get back to this. So all the way along here, we are going to go one block in. All the way along the edge of the building. 
Um, because like I said, I want to use this as a base at some point, but uh, in order to do that, we have to have full structure stabi structural stability. Because without that, it's like, all, it, all it'll take is a couple of demos going off down here and we're done. I'm waiting for that screamer. I wonder if it um, takes longer to come because I'm only breaking stone and not iron. Oops. I wonder if I was breaking iron if it would be faster. Still nothing. Alright, we want to keep these spikes intact, so let's do that. Out of concrete, really? Man, we're burning through the concrete like crazy. It's a good thing I made all that that, uh, that mix. All right, uh, we should have more stone, right? Yeah, we're getting more stone here. More mix, more that. Oops. That's what I meant to do. Nice. Oh man, we're barely getting anything done here. It's like crickets already. It just feels like the days are so much shorter now than they used to be. I don't know why. Okay, that's that part done. Man, we got still so much to do. Holy crap. You know, I think I'll wait until... Like, I'll take these bits out here. And then we'll wait till um, the other spikes in here get destroyed. And then I'll take the blocks out into there. Because those aren't really, like, 100% needed. It's these guys that are really the ones I'm worried about. All right, let's fill this whole section in now. Okay, we're gonna go right to there because I gotta do all this later. Out of concrete again. Man, it goes so fast. All right, we got some steel left over. Let's go around here. Okay, these areas here are important. Let's get these back updated. Let's get these replaced. Oh man, so much work to do still. It's a good thing it's only day 46. We've got like three more days before the horde. But if we had a been if we had behemoths in those buildings, we're probably going to get some on the horde night. And they're probably going to bypass most of my traps. I got I can I can only imagine they're just going to go right around them. Okay, and then I think that's good for now. Let's get these repaired. Okay, so those guys are repaired. Now let's go ahead and replace the ones that we lost. Now we didn't lose a whole lot this time around. I don't know whether the horde just seemed lighter or what it was, but um, yeah, they just didn't rip through this part like they did last time. Okay, that's fine there. Um, now what? Let's go get some more concrete. So this should give us enough to fill in what we need to fill in downstairs. That's night time. That's just one guy. Oh, no, somebody over here. It's a watering horde. Maybe it wasn't. He's still alive. Got 
Got to recalculate how long it takes them to get to a certain spot. Oop, they got him. Got to recalculate when they're running. Who are you on now? Okay, let's just quickly dig. <sighs> Fucking can't do anything at night. Can't get a goddamn thing done at any any time at night around here. It's ridiculous. I mean, I guess I could set up turrets all over, but then that's so costly. I mean, later on we can do it, but right now... Alright, not too bad. We got most of this done. I feel pretty good about it. Okay, that needs to be steel. Steel along here. It's just because if a demo falls off here and blows up down here, I don't want them blowing a massive hole in the ground. Not so bad over there. The stairs are pretty reinforced, not really worried about them. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Got to decide which ones I want to keep and which ones I'm willing to lose over here. These guys are going to go away, I think. I'll leave it like that for now, because I don't know if we're going to keep this. Oops, I might as well leave that down. Yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here, and then I'm going to work on... Huh, interesting. Vending machine took damage. Uh, I'm going to work on getting some armor and stuff. Actually, before we go, let's quickly look in here. Do we have enough for a mastery book yet? 500. We're getting... Oh, we got 594. We just need a handful more for our mastery book. So we might buy a couple of uh, schematics off of uh, the trader tomorrow and get a mastery book going. But we can make a coil sniper now. I made the parts for that. So... There it is there. Level 61. Let's craft that. Fuck off. Banging on my fucking door. Who? Oh, this guy. At least I think it was I was the guy they were shooting for. Really? Oh, we got a black die out of it. I guess that's all that matters. Uh, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, we got to figure out what I can make. Armor-wise and stuff. Actually, skill points. So we've got three skill points. So let's go straight into armor crafting. Three more points. Fuck off. That's the front door. Oops. Uh, all right, we got armor crafting. I mean, maybe we make the M60. Got to figure that out. What we're going to do when we get the mastery book, which we should probably be able to do tomorrow. Because if we go this route... We got the M4A1. And we can make... Now, it's not military armor, though. It's here. Security is the military armor. And titanium armor. This is the way we... I think... I don't know. We want power armor, but I don't think you can make that. Can you? Maybe you can. Oh, that might be under... Technology crafting. 
pulse grenade, laser pistol, laser rifle, fusion forge, nanites, power armor recipe, yeah, level three. So we got a way to go before we get to power armor. So I think I want to keep going with the military armor. So maybe we go with the M60? I don't know. It's such a... I don't know. But at least when we repair our armor now, we should be able to get it to level 50. Was it 51 or was it... 41. So we can repair it up to level 41. So I think we have a 40. I can I can combine and make it 41, which will give us another slot. So we got three things here we can combine. All right, I'm going to do that overnight, though. Um, there's our coil sniper. We'll get that into play tomorrow. Let's leave it there for now. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.